What's up fish friends, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to suggest 10 fish that will be fantastic for a Red Sea Reefer 250. If it's your first time here, I put out a video every week with tips on how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Now when you're choosing fish, you need to cover a lot of bases. You need to make sure they're peaceful so they get on with all their tank mates, they don't eat your corals, they look fantastic with complementary colours, they cover different areas of the tank so some are free swimming and some swim in caves, and you'll need to make sure they're not too big for your tank and it's great to have a wow factor fish on top of that. Now on this list there are two fish that are pairs, so actually you'll end up with 12 if you follow this list, and I think that's probably a decent number to aim for as long as you've got quite strong filtration in a reef for 250. So with that being said, let's get to the list. So first up we'll need to get the utility fish sorted, fish whose main purpose is to do a job and eat pests you don't want in your tank. The most obvious pest being algae. Now there aren't many good algae eaters that are small enough for this tank, so first up we're going to go for the lawnmower blenny. Every tank should have a blenny of some kind, so this guy also ticks the character box, even if he has a face only a mother could love. Lawnmower blennies bloody love a bit of vegetation, so much so that they have been known to keep eating algae until they get so fat that they die. But that doesn't mean they'll be able to keep algae out of your tank on their own, so I'm also going to recommend a one-spot fox face. But this recommendation comes with a caveat. Although they're the smallest of the fox face family, they absolutely will outgrow a reefer 250 after a while, so you need to be prepared to remove them after a couple of years. The good news though is that they will happily swim into a fish trap in search of more algae so they won't be difficult to catch when the time comes. And they do such a fantastic job of eating nuisance algae that they're absolutely worth the hassle. They can peck at corals like zoas or LPS but 9 times out of 10 they'll be totally reef safe and if yours develops a taste for something expensive you can just remove the fox and take him back to your local fish shop. We'll also need something to take care of flatworms and nudibranchs. These are much less common pests, but they can come into your tank on new corals and can wipe out corals quickly, so it's well worth having something in your tank that eats them. I'm going to suggest the ubiquitous yellow wrasse. As well as eating pests, they happen to look fantastic with an uber bright yellow body, and they also show striking facial markings as they get older. They'll also be one of the most active fish in your tank, so you've got the full tank swimming base covered. They are known jumpers so a tank cover is an absolute must and like all Halakori's rasses they'll need a nice sand bed to sleep in. They also eat copepods so if you want to add a mandarin later on down the line beware that the wrasse might outcompete it for food. Next up we'll need a few character fish and I'm going to start with the fish I get asked about most in my tank, the Naoko fairy wrasse who is currently at the very top of the screen. They'll only grow to around 3 or 4 inches, they're peaceful and they're reef safe but it's the unusual behaviour that gets him a spot on this list. They swim back and forth at the top of the tank before dive bombing on fish below. Mine seems to go for my Antheas, but there's no aggression in it and he's not hunting them. To be honest, I think he just does it to mess with them. But whatever the reason, they're great fun to watch and their behaviour is totally different to almost all other fish. The next character fish for the Reefer 250 is a pair of Bangai Cardinal fish. Firstly, they're easy to keep, they're reef safe and they're peaceful, but they also readily breed in the home aquarium and the male carries eggs in his mouth. That's common behaviour in the freshwater world, but much less so in the saltwater world, and it's really satisfying when you see it happen in your own tank. They also tend to stay in one spot of the tank, which adds further variety. Now it is very difficult to sex them, so getting a pair might be potluck, and if you end up with two males, they won't get on, so do be prepared to step in and remove one if that happens. There's space for two more character fish in a reef of 250, and we'll start with the Scarlet Hawkfish. I absolutely love these guys. They're really active, peaceful, and coral safe. They have no swim bladder so they perch on rocks in between swimming berths and they have googly eyes that move independently of one another behind a black eye mask. And they are definitely a fish that watches you as much as you watch them. They have a slightly unfair reputation as clean up crew eaters and while they are a risk with ornamental shrimp you'll probably be okay with anything from a cleaner shrimp or bigger. They also add a flash of red to your tank which is otherwise very hard to come by. And the final spot on the character list goes to either a yellow-headed jawfish or a shrimp goby. They're both easy to keep, peaceful and reef safe, so you just need to decide whether you prefer a jawfish that will dance outside his cave all day, or a goby that will pair with a shrimp and spend the day pushing sand and gravel around. They are both excellent carpet surfers, so yet another reason to have a tight-fitting aquarium cover. Now because of their fascinating, unique behaviour, these guys also fall into the category of a real wow factor fish. 
So now we've added utility and character, we're going to finish off with a burst of colour and a centrepiece fish. First up, you will obviously need a pair of clownfish. It's practically a legal requirement to have clowns in a reef tank. They're peaceful, reef safe, happy in a small tank, and will even take up home in some long tentacle corals. Although I'd steer clear of getting an anemone, as they don't do well in new tanks, and can walk across your aquarium stinging your other corals. I know anemones look awesome, but I promise you'll get over it. There are also dozens of clownfish colour morphs to choose from now, so you're spoilt for choice on colour. Oh, and guess what? Clowns are jumpers, so you'll need a tight-fitting lid. And the next splash of colour is the Royal Grammar. When you first start visiting fish shops, you'll no doubt fall in love with the ridiculously brightly coloured dotty packs. But despite their cute looks, they are absolute savages and will bully pretty much anything that so much looks at them funny. Enter the Royal Grammar then. They have similar vivid colourings, but with a lot less attitude. They're peaceful, reef safe, easy to keep, and with belting colourings. They'll also spend their day swimming in and out of caves, so they round off this list nicely, adding a bit of secrecy and intrigue to your fish list. So that just leaves us with the final centrepiece fish. And complementing all those bright yellow fish we have is the stunning pink fathead anthias. Unlike most anthias, these guys are fine as a single specimen instead of a shoal, but they will appreciate multiple feedings a day, so it's probably best to add them when your tank is nicely established, so after six months to a year. There's a chance they'll outgrow a reefer 250 in the long term, but it'll be years before they reach their maximum size of around five inches, so that's not something I'd personally worry about. They'll need plenty of hiding places to feel at ease, so make sure you carefully plan your aquascape when you set up your tank. They're not a fish you see every day, and that, combined with how damn stunning they look, makes them the perfect showpiece fish to finish off your Reefer 250. So if you follow this list and add those fish over the course of about a year, you'll have all bases covered, something to draw your eye to every area of the tank, and bags of personality as well. But there are loads of options for fish, so I'd love to hear your suggestions, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week's video. And until next time, happy reefing.